Harry Leslie Smith is being remembered this morning as the world's oldest rebel, a fighter for the powerless, a tireless advocate for social justice, and an enduring voice for refugees. His son says that Smith died just a few hours ago in hospital in Belleville, Ontario. John Smith is now paying tribute to his father on social media, posting messages this morning to Harry Leslie Smith's quarter million followers on Twitter, including a response to this tribute. Harry, you're a huge inspiration to us, and we will continue to fight your legacy for a world free of all forms of oppression, exploitation, bigotry, and violence. We stand with you, Harry. We stand with you, Harry! Now, John Smith says his father was able to watch that clip just before losing consciousness, and his dad smiled with pleasure. John Smith is now vowing to take up his father's fight. Here is Adrian Arsenault with a look at Harry Leslie Smith's legacy. The hands of father and son here, one dearly hanging on to the other. And John Smith updating the world through each delicate moment of the last week in the life of his dad, 95-year-old Harry Leslie Smith. I remember when Britain started accepting refugees. Both Canadian and British citizen, a man who once knew the sort of hunger that saw him, as a child, scavenge in the garbage for food. He then went on to fight in the Second World War, and really every day since, raging against poverty and fascism and fighting for refugees and workers. He wants to bring back this idea that we can be inclusive, that we can believe in multiculturalism, that we can believe in public health care, and that we must believe in taxes. That was John last week describing the determination in his dad that looked a lot like a speech in the UK in 2014 about protecting that country's NHS, the National Health Service. I am not a politician, a member of the elite or a financial guru, but my life is your history, and we should keep it that way. So say it loud and say it clear in this hall and across this country. Mr. Cameron, keep your mitts off my NHS. Hear all those cheers? They translated into a cyber following, a quarter of a million people on Twitter and legions of millennials discovering Harry through his podcasts. It's cold outside, so join me in the snug of a pub. I will tell you about what I know, about Christmases long ago. Always genuine warmth and always political fire. There is no greatness in inequality, nor should there be patriotism for a nation that can't admit its deficiencies. It's why I support all those in the United States and Britain that are taking a stand against the rise of fascism in the 21st century. With a strong voice like that, the news last week was somehow a shock. A fall leading to pneumonia, leading to ICU and a decline. John tweeted all of it. Harry had asked him to. And as he did, Twitter lit up. Celebrities, politicians, strangers who went from writing to reaching out in real life. Cards from kids, flowers, tea and cookies showing up at the hospital doors. And yes, Harry knew what was happening. And the amount of affection and concern was, was just beautiful. It was, it was just really humbling in so many ways. Restorative, certainly, but time has no cure. Rest easy, old soldier, we'll take it from here, was one of the last tweets to Harry before he died. He'd want the world to be held to that promise.